Tonight, a Maryland man recovering after receiving an historic heart transplant at the University of Maryland Medical Center in Baltimore. Yeah, pretty incredible. The transplant was groundbreaking because the donor is a genetically modified pig. David Kaplan is in Silver Spring tonight with more on this medical breakthrough. It was a Blacksburg, Virginia based company, a subsidiary of United Therapeutics here in Silver Spring that supplied the genetically modified pig heart to 57 year old David Bennett from just outside of Baltimore. Tonight, the University of Maryland School of Medicine sharing some images of the whole procedure. This is David Bennett and before last Friday, he was dying. His heart was failing and it failed badly. It was either die or do this transplant. I want to live. I know it's a shot in the dark, but it's my last choice, Bennett told the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Dr. Bartley Griffith, the surgeon, says this genetically modified pig heart was the only available option. The FDA granted emergency authorization for the surgery and last Friday, these images shared with Fox 5 from the University of Maryland School of Medicine shows the procedure. Here's Dr. Griffith before the surgery. The donor animal uh, was very stable and the, uh, the organ looks perfect. Doctors are cautiously optimistic the surgery was a success. The first heart transplant from a pig into a human. Doctors say Bennett has responded well thus far three days after surgery. Dr. Mohammed Mohudin runs UMD's program for transplants like these. We are all uh, very excited to see this big heart beating in this human. Uh, uh, this big heart has performed so far very well, uh, even beyond our expectations. It still is a research therapy, uh, but these are important steps forward. Dr. David Claussen is the chief medical officer for the United Network for Organ Sharing. The supply of organs never meets the demand, he says. Claussen says decades of research went into this surgery and there's more work to be done before something like this is the norm for everybody. But it marks a big, exciting step, he says. We're, you know, it, we've kind of opened some new doors and are starting to, to address important issues. But the, the, the path to, to having this be, you know, a fully mature, Therapy that is the standard of care for patients with organ failure is still a, that's still a long road ahead. A road that could one day bring life saving treatment to thousands of patients every year. Have to emphasize David Bennett still being incredibly closely monitored now, and that will likely happen in the future to see how he is doing. Certainly something doctors remain hopeful and optimistic that he will continue to improve. Back to you.